eighteen. The story, The Serang of Rana Ganji, highlights the crime of judging a person based on his or her appearance. Prepare a write up. Answer Hints. The Serang is a man of exceptional capabilities, revered by his crew for his expertise and respected by his superior for her unwavering dedication to the duty. However, despite his competence, the Serang faces discrimination and prejudice due to his physical appearance. Job Smith describes Hassan, the Indian Serang, as an absurdly comic creature to an Englishman. The Englishman describes Hassan as hardly human. Their comment shows their colonial mentality of the whites. The whites consider themselves as superior to other races. They think that they are highly civilized. The Serang was very sincere and compassionate in caring for the deceased patients. He made a shelter in the stern of the ship into which the infected patients were moored. He volunteered to nurse them without worrying about his own safety. Later, more workers were diagnosed with smallpox. Later, two sick men died. Hassan swayed their shrouds and read loud a short passage from the Ramayana. We should know that he himself was a devout Muslim, but he read the Ramayana because the persons who died were Hindus. It shows his religious tolerance. At the end of the story, Job Smith asked the narrator whether he had kept the Sarang in a cage. The narrator gives her a befitting reply. He said that he had kept the Sarang in a cage, but all the animals were outside. While writing the write up, you must include points like the character of Job Smith, the chief of social promoter in the ship Ranaganji, her remarks of contempt and ridicule on Hassan the Sarang, the act of great humanity, and character portrayed by the later at the peak of the crisis. 19. Comment on the imaginary used in the poem Sunrise on the Hills. Answer. All three types of imagery used in the poem Sunrise on the Hills Visual, Auditory and Kinesthetic imagery is used to depict the awesome beauty of nature by the poet. Examples of visual imageries are Glowed the rich valley Woods were brightened Darkened valley and Glistened rivers flow Examples of auditory images are Distant water dash, music of the village bell, the echo giving hills, merry shout. Examples of kinesthetic or movement images are the sun's returning march, wheel his spiral way, clouds was lifted, current whirl and flash, woods bending with the silent reach. 20. Write a live report on the launching of Li Hurley. Answer. Now I am standing in front of the gas work of La Valette, where Li Hurley is about to take off. Almost 300 people have arrived to witness this mesmerizing event. The crowd is roaring. The passengers are ready for the ride. You can see their excitements. They are taking barometers, eatables, raincoats, overcoats, Seren and two trumpets with them. Finally, Captain Jovis calls everyone to get into the basket. Lieutenant Mallet jumps abroad and the rest of them too. Oh my god, the basket is not moving. So M. Everest gets out. Now Le Hurle is ready for the ride. The passengers are waving at the crowd. The weather is good. Under M. Jolit's command, the rope that connect the balloon with the ground has cut. Wow, what a marvelous sight to see. Like a bird, Le Hurle is flying very majestically in the sky. Le Hurle is heading to Paris, as you can see in the visuals. From La Valette with cameraman M. Anu, Jacob Shirley, Asian Nose, Paris. 21. Describe the India that Gandhi dreamed of. Answer. He wanted an India where the poorest should feel that it was their country. They should have an effective voice in the ruling. 
he wanted india not to have class distinctions he wanted india to be a place where people lived in perfect harmony there was no room for untouchability intoxicating drinks and drugs women were to have equal rights with men india in whose making all sections in the society have an effective voice and india with no racial or class discrimination 22 gd mopasens decided to send captain jovis an email appreciating him for his dynamic leadership in the leh or leh successful launching draft the email format of email to recipient mail id subject reason for writing the email salutation use words like dear sir or madam or sir or madam hi hello main body always devote one email to one topic explain what you are writing about make it short and simple structure your message into paragraphs closing make it clear and specific signatures like best regards kind regards you are faithfully you are sincerely you are truly respectfully etc name name of the sender's contact details hints captain jovis as an efficient captain he carried out his responsibilities with silent efficiency he maneuvered the balloon with great skill and care ensuring the safety of its passengers 23 write a letter to the editor pointing out the issues with stray dogs and the harm they pose to human life format of formal letters sender's address date recipient address salutations like sir reason for writing the letter feelings and arguments suggestion or opinions subscription answer dear editor i am writing to express my concern about the growing menace of stray dogs in my locality these dogs have become a nuisance to the residents causing disturbance both during the day and night the dogs often bark and howl instantly disturbing people's sleep and peace of mind they also chase people and vehicle posing a safety hazard additionally the dogs desiccate and urinate in public places making the area filthy and unhygienic the situation has become so bad that children are afraid to play outdoor and people are hesitant to walk alone at night The elderly and disabled are particularly vulnerable to these dogs. I have made several complaints to the municipal authorities but no action has been taken. I urge the authority to take immediate step to address this problem. One possible solution is to set up a dog shelter where stray dogs can be housed and cared for. This would help to reduce the number of stray dogs. on the street and make the locality safer and more livable you are truly st nandini m 24 prepare a motivational speech based on the lessons his first flight i will fly cost for a theory of everything and if pointing the messages and ideas you derive from them layout of his speech formal address to the audience catchy introduction play speech note to draw attention of audience announcement of the topic and establishment of context development of the topic impact on people or environment or country etc conclusion formal thanks to the audience format of a speech title addresses to the listeners like good morning everyone opening lines body of the letter concluding lines closing note like thank you hence his first flight is an inspiring short story by lemo flaherty it is a psychological study of why people find it difficult to take initiative in life a young seagull was afraid to make its first flight His parents tried everything to make him fly. They even threatened to starve him, but nothing happened or worked. Then the mother played a trick on him. 
picking up a piece of fish she flew near him and stopped just in front of him maddened by hunger he jumped for the fish forgetting about the danger involved during his headlong fall his wings spread and naturally he was able to fly to take the initiative and need confidence and courage only a self-reliant person will be able to succeed in life sometimes we need to be take a leap of faith in order to start something in the speech dr kalam says that the ignited mind of the youth is the most powerful resource on the earth so they need no fear about the future he stresses the importance of being unique Every youth want to be unique but the world around them are trying to make the conform to certain ideals this is one of the toughest battle they are going to fight he exhorts the youth to never stop fighting for achieving the goal of becoming a unique person stephen hawking is a truly inspirational figure he serves as a prime example of how individual can conquer challenges and disabilities while contributing to the betterment of humanity. Stephen Hawking serves as a beacon, reminding us remember to look up at the stars and know down at your feet. However difficulty life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. Don't just give up. His words underscore the importance of willpower and a positive perspective in transforming our approach to life's hurdles. Add points from the chapter if The sum of ideas derived from this chapter is our to overcome the difficulties of life with determination and confidence, understanding innate talents and skills to pursue excellence in life, the importance of being unique and different in life enduring pain and suffering in life with courage and confidence to become great understanding those qualities to become an ideal human being 25 write an article explaining the cause and effect of increasing number and magnitude of disasters these days hence changes in climate conditions Especially the warming of global temperature increases the likelihood of weather-related natural disasters. Hotter global temperatures increase the risk of droughts as well as increase the intensity of storms and create winter monsoons. Effects The fear that the condition which contributed to the disaster event or chains of event will be repeated is going to be a remain with victims for a long time. Scarcity of resources in the work of a disaster will be cause people to either band together or hoard resources in order to not be victims again. Population may have to relocate due to the hazardous condition in the area affected by the disasters. The article should contain a title and explain the below points. Disasters and Disaster Management in India Nature of Disaster in India Reason and its Consequences How to Equip Our Disaster Management Units Following Rules and Instructions of the Government 26. Write a Critical Appreciation of the Poem Given Below Hence, Appreciation of Journey to Success by Bhavya Paranjay the poem Journey to Success as a good example for motivational and didactic poem. The poet shares the secret to success in life, the need to have a determined and resilient mind towards failures and setbacks in life. The poet calls for an indomitable mind to make us many attempts, thus reducing the distance between us and our goals of life and finally achieve them. The line set as new anthem of success to the youth. Proper analysis of the poem like poetic devices used, rhyme scheme etc.